Why do we spend countless hours and dollars out in our shop working on our cars, tinkering with our boats, putting together our motorcycles? I've always been curious what it is behind all of it. So I'm gonna go out and talk to some people. And we're gonna find out why. In this episode, I'm hanging out with Mike Smith. We're out on the Umqua Dunes, which is by Winchester Bay, which is about four miles south of Reedsport, Oregon. These dunes offer a ton of rideable area with some of the tallest dunes in the Oregon Dune Recreation Area chain. Mike is a fabricator by trade, and he built his sand rail in his garage. One of the hallmarks of a great fabricator is the ability to lay down a killer beam, and as you can see from his handiwork here, Mike's got that part down packed. I did. I did, uh, far too often, far too much. Back when I was in uh, elementary school, I was the kid that when the, you know, the pencil sharpener stopped working, the teacher would give it to me and I'd take it home and I'd, I wouldn't fix it, but I'd take it apart and beat on it and somehow it'd start working again, I'd take it back. And they'd, oh, you're so mechanically inclined and really I just hit things a lot. Well, I've had off-road trucks, I've had street vehicles and just sand is kind of, forever changing it's always different you know I, I've had the Toyotas and the off-road stuff and the problem was is everything kept getting shut down and taken away and and you know it's it's truly unique the problem is is that I I began to really hate bodied vehicles you know anything that had a chassis and a cab and a bed because all I did was beat them up and yeah. dented them and make them cave the roofs in you know I rolled them over in my front yard that kind of thing and so this is I know it inside and out. I know exactly how to fix it if something breaks, for the most part, chassis-wise. I, I know that if I hit a sign at 40 miles an hour, I can take it home and fix it and bring it back the next day. Uh, and you, you can't do that with a body vehicle, you know, with a, a truck or a car, you know, it's, it's big money. I go home and I turn my bender on and I fix it, you know. If I have to build a new A-arm, eh, this sucks. I lost three hours of my life building a new A-arm. that same thing that would make the guy that just went and bought one cry because yeah. you know to have a fab shop custom build something like that you know a one-off piece you're talking it if somebody walked into my work with that a-arm and said can you build me one of these i would say yeah about 600 bucks you know and then you're still gonna have to go and have it powder coated yeah. just because it's a one-off part you know so you really that's that's why you know, I've never been afraid of beating my stuff up. I, I, I'll go out there and drive until it breaks. I fix it. It's not a big deal. I, I don't feel anything. You don't feel stress. You don't feel anxiety. You don't feel anything except for the steering wheel. Yeah. And, you know, the shifter. It, it's Some people, you know, probably go in and feeling adrenaline or feeling this. You know, you kind of get that tunnel vision and, you know, you, you see where you want to go and you just make it happen. I don't... I, I guess I do feel something in that respect. You, you, you are feeling something, but you know, it's not a typical feeling, you know, when you're getting up and going to work. It's, it's, it's not a, it's not like I'm extremely happy or anything. It's just, it's, yeah. it's a euphoria in your mind.
Yeah. What kind of questions you got? Or what, well, what, um, just like a general overview, so I don't go in and go. Uh, 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 basically, I'm just gonna ask you for your bank account number and your PIN. Fair enough. You want the you want my uh, <laughs> driver's license too? Well, I got the social if you in my could, back if pocket. you have your social security number. I do. I do. Uh, I keep memory locked. I like, locked. To, I like to cook meth. Oh, and so you know, uh, everyone got that in common. Come to Rosebud. I like to uh, keep it fresh. Yeah. So yep. Uh, you got to have those positive identities <laughs> every now and then. You change I'm getting out. into bath salts. I'm telling you, oh, that's where it's at. Man, that's where it's at. You get all zombified. Yeah, keep yeah. Those faces yeah. off. That's that's the way to do it. On the regular. <laughs> uh, they're just basic questions. Oh, okay. Um, I'll try not to stumble around. Like, uh, how old were you when you lost your virginity? Um, 27. How do you feel That's about horses? Year. Horses? Uh, Horse powers? Yeah. Can't have enough. Are we ready? Yeah, dude. Oh, so we've been, we been running the whole time? We've been running the whole time. Okay, so I gotta get serious. Oh, we need okay. to edit that part out.